What do you think of extraterrestrials? When it comes to extraterrestrial beings, does your mind visualize creatures like this? This is certainly the case for most people. But why? On the morning of February 20, 1954, President Eisenhower went to Palm Springs to spend the holidays. Apparently it was a good holiday, but something rare happened that day. It was 10 o'clock in the evening when he disappeared. He was missing for 12 hours. This disappearance was so unusual that the Associated Press reported that the president died because of a due to a heart attack. But the next day he was found 160 kilometers from his residence, in a church ceremony in Los Angeles, and in an interview with reporters he admitted that he needed an emergency operation due to a broken tooth. But reports of his presence that night were circulated at Edward Air Force Base. And of course there is ample evidence that the base has cancelled all air traffic for three days, from February 19th to 21, and has dismissed unnecessary personnel. But if it's true, what was he doing in the base? Two weeks after Eisenhower's disappearance, Rumors of his official meeting with extraterrestrial beings overshadowed all American media. This news was first mentioned by a person named Frank Edwards on a radio program. MUFON is one of the largest and oldest civilian research organizations on UFOs in the United States. This organization claims to have the largest number of members on the Americas, with more than 3,000 members worldwide. MUFON in collaboration with regional curators, annually holds an international conference and publishes a monthly magazine called MUFON UFO. But MUFON's files has more to say about this meeting. Files like the presence of several eyewitnesses who accompanied Eisenhower when they met extraterrestrials. According to them, an important and secret agreement was reached. That means establishing permanent extraterrestrial bases in America. Two months after the secret meeting, Eisenhower enacted a law banning UFO-related issues. It's mean all UFO-related information was classified as national security. From Kennedy's presidency to Richard Nixon's rise to power, UFO interventions and attacks on Soviet and US nuclear facilities increased, and the possibility of a nuclear war or the complete loss of control of nuclear facilities worried both. One of these cases is Maelstrom Air Force Base accident on March 16, 1967, that the Malmstrom Air Base in Montana had a sudden accident. The base was home to a large number of Minuteman nuclear missiles. On March 16, a number of personnel working on the ground reported that a very large and shiny object was landing. While they reported the matter to Lt. Gen. Robert Salas at the Underground Command Center, all of the nuclear missiles were shut down one after the other. However, this incident was not the last nuclear intervention of the UFOs, and the existence of this type of incident led to the formation of an agreement between Russia and the United States. On September 30, 1971 international agreements were signed by the presidents of the Soviet Union and the United States to minimize the possibility of a nuclear war. The Nixon-Brezhnev agreement may have prevented a nuclear confrontation during the Cold War, but MUFON files shows that Richard Nixon was fascinated by UFOs. During his tenure as Eisenhower's vice president in the 1950s, he gathered a lot of information about UFOs. There is a rumor that in 1974, he shared his secrets with his artist friend Jackie Gilson, who was very interested in UFOs. But President Eisenhower is not the first president to face the UFO phenomenon, and it belongs to President Harry Truman. With a simple and concise look at the available files, it is easy to see that all US communications with extraterrestrial beings were formally initiated by Harry Truman. Harry Truman served as vice president for only 82 days, and became president after the death of Franklin D. Roosevelt. This period coincided with a tumultuous period in which a serious decision had to be made in a few weeks, to fire an atomic bomb on Japanese soil.
but this nuclear battle was not the only challenge facing Thurman. The main crisis took place in the summer of 1947, when a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico, and people around the world know it as Roswell Accident. Roswell's incident made Thurman the first president to face the UFOs officially and in the media. It's only been two years since World War II that the world has come across unknown creatures that know virtually no information as to why they were present. Only one thing is clear enough to cause global fear. They are not of our race. Now let's review again. In August 1945, the United States dropped two atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. According to experts it was easily visible from space. In 1947, a UFO comes to Earth but crashes in Roswell. They returned in 1950, but were arrested by the U.S. military. In 1954, an agreement was reached between extraterrestrials and Eisenhower, and the former captive remained on Earth as an observer. Then in 1960 he left Earth. Exactly when the United States was on the verge of a nuclear war with Russia, Malmstrom incident happened. Finally in 1971, global treaty was signed. But we said that in 1950 they came to Earth and were arrested. Do you know this person? From 1957 to 1960, Frank Strange has served in the Pentagon as a representative of the Supreme Council. He describes Valiant Thor, who was came to Earth by a UFO from Venus. According to him, Valiant Thor landed in Virginia and met with the President. He warned Mr. Eisenhower that the world was in a precarious position and that if the world continued to wage war, it would cause an imbalance. Valiant Thor remained on Earth until March 16, 1960 when he returned to Venus. We said he came to Earth from Venus. If this sentence was funny to you then look at this person. Her name is Omnik Onik. She also comes from Venus. We know a lot of people who claim to be from Venus. Now a question arises. If extraterrestrials are like us, then who are these creatures? If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more videos.